This video leads off a series of four videos motivating smartphone simulation usage in the introductory astronomy classroom. It will specifically focus on delivering simulations on the student's personal devices. These videos are available on the UNL Astronomy channel on YouTube and also on the Astronomy Education at the University of Nebraska website. The series is sponsored by the Education Committee of the American Astronomical Society. Our first video, Why Smartphones, focuses on an introduction to smartphones covering their growing prevalence and the special affinity that college-age students have for them. These factors suggest that they are a unique vehicle for forging connections between today's college students and science concepts. The second video will discuss our frameworks for designing smartphone simulations and show some example simulations. The third video will discuss our classroom implementation framework and detail some specific lessons we have learned from using the simulations and hints regarding what we still need to learn. The fourth and final video will discuss the broader educational landscape and how resistance related to smartphones from some faculty should be anticipated, understood, and countered. Users are encouraged to view the videos in a manner aligned with their interests. Many websites provide extensive data on the ownership of mobile devices and smartphones in particular. There are many statistics that we could use to discuss the prevalence of mobile devices and smartphones, but all of them would tell us what we already know, that they are both extremely abundant. There were 5.3 billion mobile phone users worldwide at the beginning of 2022, with increases of 3% a year anticipated in the near future. The Pew Research Center reports that 97% of U.S. adults own some type of cell phone and 85% own a smartphone, up from 31% in a 2011 survey. Clearly these devices are completely ingrained into our lives. Smartphone statistics are especially high for people of college age. Pew in their 2021 report states that 96% of all U.S. adults in the 18 to 29 age range own a smartphone. So what other evidence exists for high smartphone prevalence among college students? Seelheimer et al. document this growth of smartphone abundance in multiple surveys of large number of students at the University of Central Florida, citing 91% smartphone ownership in 2012, 95% in 2014, and 99% in 2016. When one includes other mobile devices, laptops and tablets, the ownership of mobile devices among college students is very, very near 100%. And this is several years ago. So why this especially high smartphone ownership rate among college students? Although generations are often defined by age, they are also strongly linked with the expansion of technology, and the particular technology that rose to prominence during their formative years. These generation technology connections include Baby Boomers, ages 53 to 73, and television. Generation X, ages 39 to 54, and personal computers. Millennials, ages 23 to 38, and the internet. And Generation Z, ages 7 to 22, where the adults of the group include most incoming college first-year students, who have never lived a moment of their adult lives without a smartphone in their pocket. The adults of Generation Z are a video and mobile-centered generation, and they view their mobile devices as the remote controls of their lives. Smartphones are college students' primary tools for connecting with the world, and one should expect that their device desires, identities, and habits would naturally follow them into the classroom. Thus, while important to most adults, smartphones are essential to the lives of the Generation Z population. For 17 years, the EDUCAUSE Center for Analysis and Research, ECAR, has studied information technology usage by undergraduate students, and for five years by faculty. These reports inform our perspective and motivate this project. The 2019 ECAR study includes the following major recommendation. Allow students to use the devices that they perceive are most important to their academic success in the classroom. Provide training to faculty on the purposeful integration of student-owned technology for more inclusive, active, and engaged learning. This project is directly aligned with this recommendation. We believe that smartphones provide a unique opportunity to build connections between college students and astronomy concepts 
by delivering interactive engagement materials on the devices that they so greatly value.